summer clouds roll around the sky, and a strand of stars sparkle in the night. Let me take your word from you. Let me make the world around you. Let me love you like nobody ever tried. When the lazy days come to lay around the lake, and the rays of the sun run among the waves, don't you think about tomorrow? Don't you drink the drop of sorrow? Don't you look to find the past or wonder why? Let it roll down your shoulder, let it fall along the floor. I'll be loving you like the one who loves the shore. Let it fall from your fingers, let it go, let it go. I'll be loving you like the summer loves the big blue sun. The big blue sun, the big blue sun. When the summer clouds roll around the stars in the night, and the lazy days lay around the morning light, let me take your world from you. Let me make the world around you. Let me love you like nobody ever tried. Let it go down your shoulder. Let it fall on the floor. I'll be loving you like the water loves the shore. Let it fall from your fingers. Let it go. Let it go. I'll be loving you like the summer loves the big blue sun. The big blue sun. The big blue sun. There is a club back in 1991 called KD something or other, Churchill's, and we want to know where it was. Who knows? KD Churchill's, 1991 to 93 probably, at the most. It was only a downtown. Couple. Yeah, we want to know the specific actual, where was it? You're blowing. Oh my god. It was Lower Main Street? I think so too. I think it's where Club Toast or in that area of Club yeah. Toast. Yeah. But Club Toast Google? existed right there at that time. What did you Google it? It doesn't exist on Google. All that exists on... Here's the... Do you think I'd be asking you if it existed on Google? No. All that exists on Google is just Burlington, Vermont. Uh, <laughs> so there's all this... Churchill's. Where was Churchill's? KD Churchill's. Churchill's. When you were three years old, Leah, where did you go to watch band? Where did we take you <laughs> you want some grass? Delicious grass? Hey, how's it going? So, this is my vacation, and it's pretty neat. Um, I don't really do anything. So how you like me now? How you like me now? How you like me now? How you like me now?
I rented one of these bird scooters and it didn't work. Right, I'm gonna ask for my money back. <laughs> Here I am at Blandair Park again. Uh, it's pretty rare that I end up here. Fred's ice cream. Uh, this is called Blueberry Hill Park. Um, this, I think. Yeah, Zeme is the. <laughs> Zeme is sein die deutschen Platzken. I didn't do that right. Uh, so I'm sitting here in the parking lot of the Goodwill. Sometimes I just sit here for hours and stare. Um, Everyone's standing up front because it's you know it's after ten, so apparently um, this store opens at some point. Not ten though. Here, see? Ja, Zeme is sind die Deutschen Platz. <laughs> it's German. It's German cookies, so. Uh, so apparently Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young opened a pizza chain or restaurant. I wasn't aware of that, but it's here in Rockville, Maryland. The VAR thinks there's a clear and obvious error that's occurred here. Giving her this opportunity to look, referee doesn't have this angle at the time while she's actively Active. refereeing. Yeah. No communication yes. from the AR2 in the sense that she thinks this is at a penalty kick here. Three, uh, she 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 well, this is, well, she 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 it's about time, time, time the U.S. got it. Yeah. Yeah. That is incredibly high, it's beyond, and it completely misses the ball. Thank you, Christina. This is, well, it's certainly the biggest call of this game. First time we've seen VAR. Booty out, kick with a review where she has come over to look at the French referee Stephanie Pino. for par. The first time I've agreed. Let's see if you agree with the referee. Yeah! Woo! I could tell she did not want to make that call. Rally shot. So this is Madison Manor Park. It's my new park. And I don't think this is the same park that I was thinking of. Definitely not. 
Okay, so I solved the mystery of, uh, I'm at the same lake, just a different part of it. Uh, where I was the last time is called Lakeside Park, and it's across the other side uh, of this lake. And I have to go all the way around to get to that, which I'm not going to do. Um, this park's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm cool. No, so this is this uh, lakeside park. Now some of you might be noticing that I said I wasn't going to come around over here, uh, but I did anyway. So shut up. And uh, this is it. But we need to get this waffle shop or waffle shop uh, sign in a video somehow. Uh, I want to go in there and ask them if they sell waffles or waffles. You know which is like a cardboard version. <clears throat> okay, so today is August 13th, and uh, tomorrow I have jury duty. Uh, so <clears throat> I've been thinking, you know, what's the best way to uh, present this, and I was going to check the website, but I think it'd be better to call the number and then uh, speakerphone the results. So, the way things have been going, <laughs> the way my luck has been going, I am 100% convinced I'm going to Rockville tomorrow. And uh, not to uh, take people to work, uh, but uh, to go to Montgomery County Circuit Court at 50 Maryland Ave. <clears throat> so, um... I have to call this number, which um, I have a trouble. We hear it is. Okay. We'll just edit this part uh, for time later. And my number. I, oh, my juror number is 176. Okay. That's my call in number. I don't know if that's my juror number. It's probably the same one. Which is a low number, in my opinion, which means I am more than likely going to jury duty. There it is. The phone's ringing. That sound is the sound of a phone ringing. You think, why not just pick up on the... Just get to the number. Give us a number. I know all this because I served on a jury four years ago. The last time I was there, they told me if I served on a jury, I would uh, be 
uh, exempt for 20 years, which is obviously a lot. Not sure why they uh, told us that. Is there a skip ahead? that white dog turd uh, this is called Bluemont Park and I almost never come to this side anymore I usually go to the side that's over there and when I say over there it's where I'm zooming in see that tennis court there's a parking lot over there Uh, this is uh, Terry Jack's version of Seasons in the Sun, uh, a song written by Jacques Brel uh, in 1961. Uh, it was a number one hit. I think it was the number one, number one in 1974. And I wanted to use this. Uh, for one of the uh, films I made, uh, converting my dad's uh, old 70s 8mm films. Uh, it's, uh, we had it uh, on the album Dynamite, uh, which was a compilation album made by KTEL, I believe. Uh, it came out in 1974. Uh, that Dynamite album was, was so great. I can't really think of an adjective to describe it, but um, it was special, it was magic. Dynamite. Uh, so uh, this is Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this road uh, that I'm coming to uh, at the stop sign is called Clopper Road. Uh, apparently this is where the song um, Take Me Home Country Roads uh, was written. Uh, now, of course, that was the 70s. And it probably didn't look like this back then. This is the epitome of suburbia right now. Uh, but um, that's pretty neat. <laughs> and I'm turning on Clopper Road now. Take me home, suburban road. Take me home, Clapper Road. Uh, it is Friday, September 13th. Friday the 13th. Uh, Greenbrier Park, that's where I'm at. I'll just take my lunch. And um, I just noticed uh, there's some uh, cones in the parking lot. Ja, Zeme es in die Deutschen Platzchen. Ja, Zeme es in Deutschen Platzchen. <laughs> ja, Zeme es in Deutschen Platzchen. Ah, let's try that again. Wir ja, sind Deutscher Platzchen. <laughs> Ja, 
Zemmel essen die deutschen Platzchen. That's 234. So that's more. He might just take this on the first go. And hey. Okay, so I offered it and he rejected it. So I'm going to have to offer more money. Stupid dog. I have fifteen over fifteen hundred dollars, so I'll just do. I just I, mean, I want the property. I don't care. Okay, he did it for one seventy one. It probably went over too much, so I've got it, and the game's barely started. I'm just going to build it up. Now the computer strategy is usually to just spend all of his money. Uh, it doesn't have any more. I don't like to do that. Um. But yeah, I've got four houses on here. And I usually stop at four houses. And then I just try to make sure I get all the houses. There's only 32 houses, so you can't go beyond 32 houses. And you've got to you've got to stop you've got to stop at four somewhere, have all three have four so that when you monopolize all the houses, you can add a hotel and then take those four houses as long as you have the money to put them elsewhere. Uh, and that's how you keep your opponents from winning. And that's my basic strategy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this game. It's already established. There's no way anyone is going to catch me now. I don't want my soul walked on. I just want it rearranged. Alright, so I'm going to trade with the top hat. And uh, see if they'll give me this. If I use, if I go for him, if I go at him as the first, he might just be like, sure, I'll give you that. He did. 200 and, 180 bucks, I gave him 201, he gave it right away. Now I can trade uh, the stupid shoe, with, who has almost nothing. Um, but I'll give him this yellow property, which will give him two. He'll, he'll think that's advantageous, and he'll just trade it right out. Damn it, he did not. What an idiot. He's being a moron. Because, I mean, look, this is... It's an extra... 60 bucks I'm giving him. So now i got to give him some fucking money. I'll give him nine dollars to see if he takes it. He did not. So I, I just keep going up the ladder. Until he takes something. Or... If it gets, starts getting outrageous, then I just say screw it, and I wait until I... He wouldn't take $30, which means he's getting an extra 90 See, he's holding out because he knows it gives me a monopoly. And pretty much the game. Once I get this piece, I mean, it's pretty much the game. I might as well just try to get it. 140 bucks. He finally did it. So... That's pretty much it. I'm gonna win this game. Well, this is the end part of this uh, stupid recording where Herc told me to scream into the pickups on the guitar. And that's where that's, you hear that screaming. It's not a microphone, it's the microphone pickups. Am I calling an adult or a teenager? If you get a chance, give me a call. It's your dad. Bye. Hi, Mark. This is Ann. It's 10 after 9. I had a great day at this wedding. It was wonderful. And then I walked through my place and the drum set was gone. And Jeff left a message saying that they took it um, and that if we were upset, we could get it back sometime tonight. So I left a message at their place. If you want to give them Boom. a call. That's it. Um, Bankrupt. The number is... $1,400. That's Joel game, baby. Right now, so um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Forty-eight Good minutes. God, please take that off. That is horrible. I almost hung up three times. Um, I am here at work. Uh, I will try you again. I assume you're out delivering right now. Um, I'll be in all night as well. Um, you must have to 
So I will try to talk to you. Okay, I'm going to the beach Monday for three days. All right, bye. That is a great message, man. Well, this is her. I need a favor. Remember that favor? Um, can we call it work today? All day. Bye. It's about time your freaking answering machine sucks. Mark, this is Mark from Zachary's. If you're still working for me, why don't you give me a call and let me know why you didn't show today. Have a nice day. Mark, you're killing me with that answer machine. This is Zachary's. Give me a call. Hi, this message is for Mark Spasinski. This is Heather Wyman, the program director at RUV. I'm just calling to tell Mark that his radio show is on Sundays from 9 until noon. I realize that this is not a time slot that he signed up for, um, but he only signed up for 6 to 8 and 8 to 11. And those time slots were been um, taken up by either executive board members or people that... Um, uh, put large amounts of time, effort, and energy into RUV. Um, if Mark has a question or concern about this time slot, he can give me a call back at 666. Six, six. Thank you. And uh, this starts this, uh, on this Sunday. Um, well, no, next Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday, like seven more days from now, Sunday uh, 9 until noon. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, that's the fave. Well, I was gonna go to Barnacle Billy's and I found out it was $25 for parking. Uh, which I'm not gonna do. I wasn't even gonna spend $25 on lunch! <laughs> you know? Could be a good sunset tonight. Deb, you're cut off. That'll make it in the film. It's going in the film. There's poop on it. <laughs> There's poop on it. Carry that just to wipe the poop off or what? No. <laughs> he just washed our car what, yesterday. Today. Ah, uh, well, summer is pretty much over. It's Friday, September 20th. And uh, it really sucked. I just have to say, this has been the worst summer ever. Yeah.
Okay, so this is the end of the film. And there's nothing else. <laughs>